Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. The words that you speak can turn lives around. The words that you speak can turn situations around. The words that you speak can turn destinies around. Lift your voice and acknowledge Him. The God who owns that voice that can turn things around. Go ahead and speak in other tongues. Bless him. The words that you speak can turn things around. The words that you speak can turn barrenness around. The words that you speak can turn infirmities around. Are you blessing him? Go ahead. All those following us online, bless him. Scattered around this nation and the nations of the world, bless him. I just want you to sing that part of the song that says, The words you speak can turn things around. The words you speak turn things around. Go out straight up. Father, tonight is my night of testimony. Lift your voice and pray. Tonight must be my night of testimony. I place a demand on your grace. I place a demand on your wisdom. I place a demand on your ability. Are you praying? Tonight must be my night of dramatic testimony. The words that you speak can turn things around. I trust you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
hallelujah like you to walk up to two or three people and tell them your life is about to change dramatically prophesy outside make sure you participate those online participate your life is about to change dramatically say it like you're not joking your life is about to change dramatically hallelujah please be seated god bless you when god begins to move like this it's important that our spirits are open to discern what it is that he's saying there are no mistakes with him it is only when our perceptions are not clear enough to receive it may look like a coincidence but in every working of god there is wisdom hallelujah so i welcome every one of us those inside outside thank you so much for coming those who have come from far you will never be disappointed and all those following us online on all our media platforms we welcome you you're part of us let your heart be open in the name of jesus pay attention to the word oftentimes when people come um they just want to begin to see manifestation prophecy and so on and so forth but every time you come before god it's important that you listen to the word the bible says they came to jesus to hear and be healed to hear and be healed it's only a herbalist who constructs charms and doesn't care whether or not you are participating in the process at the end of it he hands you a leaf with substances and says go it is done but with god there must be participation i want to charge us very briefly before we begin to pray there's a lot that god will do tonight and um, i want us to conserve time i'm seeing how that we can finish on time in fact much more than we have we have been doing in the miracle services and i ask god for grace and so his grace is sufficient for us tonight amen i trust god for a very quick walk and please let's cooperate with what he wants to do so that we can live here on time praise god i want to speak um very briefly to encourage our hearts and to remind us on the integrity of god's word the integrity the dependability the reliability of god's word when it comes to exploits in the kingdom please listen the principal channel listen to me please the principal channel for receiving the miraculous is faith the principal channel for participating in the miraculous is faith are we together now and your faith is inactive until the word of god brings it alive and so i want you to please pay attention there are so many believers who expect god to step in and bring healing miracles i was so touched whilst the testimonies were being shared and um but they're not surprised only grateful i would be surprised if i were the doer are we together the integrity of god's word the bible has this to say it says heaven and earth listen shall pass away heaven and earth shall pass away you know why they will pass away because the word created them both are we together heaven and earth shall pass away but the word of the lord abides forever the principal channel for committing god to perform in your life is the word of god please listen the principal channel for committing god is not your tears your tears move god but they cannot commit him your lamentation can move god the bible says for we do not have a high priest who has not been touched with the feelings of our infirmity but being touched is not the same as responding to it the only channel that can commit god's integrity to bring him to the scene to perform on your behalf is the word of god i need you to understand this not a man of god he may only be a vehicle but the principal channel for committing god is the word of god
whenever we talk about faith it is simply the vehicle that gives the word of god expression and i'll just charge us a little it's important for us to know that the word of god can be trusted the scripture that we read this bible look up please this bible that we read the bible says it was inspired of the holy ghost are we together holy men wrote it as they were moved by the spirit so regardless of the imperfection of the translators regardless of the imperfection of the writers the sovereignty of god still vetoes their imperfection and makes this word capable of producing results when believed and acted upon are we together your faith every time in scripture jesus would challenge the faith of the recipients jesus never told anyone you have asked a hard thing it was elijah who told his son in the gospel you have asked a hard thing it is possible but jesus will only ask them believest thou thy faith has given this to you let me give you a very interesting definition of faith that i got from bishop and uh, this this is one of his most recent definitions and it is absolutely powerful this is what he said faith is sharing responsibilities with god in the light of his word so as to get your desired result faith is sharing responsibilities with god as defined or in the light of his word so as to get your desired result shared responsibility shared responsibility there is a path to your miracle listen please that depends on god that is exclusively left to his wisdom and power and sovereignty but there is a path to the delivery and the manifestation of your miracle that depends on an operation you must do so many believers want to receive from god listen please we come to god but we approach god as though approaching an idol hoping that he will perform some magic no there are spiritual dynamics to reception your faith your faith your faith your faith we have a series on that and we're going to start that series next week i'm going to be sharing with you some deep dynamics about faith because it's important for us to get results results are predictable say it after me one more time results are predictable there is there is a there is a technology there is a system of predictability to results that's why we're gathered here tonight we're not gathered to some kind of haphazard trial and error i know you will be blessed i know you will be healed it's not pride it's the truth there is a formula for this i know your life will change i know that demon will leave your life forever I know you will walk out of here with breakthrough that will bring tears to your eyes but there is a system there is a system please brothers and sisters imagine imagine for one minute that you go to the hospital listen you go to the hospital with your pregnant wife about to give birth and the doctor tells you that look this name doctor is just there oh, let me just confess i'm not exactly sure let's trust god and see what will happen and your wife is crying and saying i'm losing my life how would you love such a doctor and you ask him who gave you that title that you put in front of your name because the title is an implication hmm. are we together the title is an implication the title means you were certified the title means you went through rigorous seasons that trained your mind to be intelligent on that wise now that's when when god names a meeting is an implication if he calls it a miracle service it means he sat down and searched within himself if he had the power to back up that name 
God never speaks until he looks at himself and finds out whether it is within his ability to back up what he has said. If he called it a miracle service, then that is a miracle service indeed. It has never been about the inability of God to step into people's lives. Please listen. There is no case represented here today that is above and beyond the power of God to step in. No, you would be lying. Are we together? You know, sometimes the mountains that stand before us, and trust me, I'm human. There are mountains that can stand before people. But you see, that mountain remains only as big as your inability to trust God makes it look. There are mountains. It says time will fail me to talk of Gideon and Jephthah and Barak. Men who through faith subdued kingdoms. Not cities, kingdoms. So the foundation, the foundation, please listen. The foundation for biblical faith is an encounter with the word of God. You must find out what he has said about the issue of concern. That is step one to commit him. More on that during the faith series. But it is important. You have no right to lay any claims on anything you have not searched out. Because God limits himself to the provisions that his word can afford. Hear me. Whatever the word of God can afford, God can provide it. Did you hear me? Whatever the word of God can afford, God can pay for it. Whatever the word of God can afford, it is within the sovereign power of God to pay for it. Your first assignment is to find out. I've been barren for eight years. They said I have no fallopian tube. Thank you doctors but they are practicing. And you come to the word of God and check and then the Bible says your marriage shall be a blessing it says your children not even a child surround your table now the next thing is whose report will you believe are we together the trouble is we do not meditate on the word to a point of restful persuasion restful persuasion but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded you don't read the bible like a novel no the entrance of your word eventually as you pay attention to the word let me tell you i know what i'm saying believe me when you study scripture with all your heart an activity of the holy ghost begins to happen from those letters through your eyes into your spirit from those letters through your eyes through your ears into your spirit he says so then faith comes by hearing and understanding by the word of god it's not just hearing it's not just seeing when you discover the promises the prophecies the provision your next assignment is to meditate upon the word to get to a point of restful persuasion persuasion that says if i perish i perish but i found it i found my bailout i found it oh they say i must uh, this and that and that and that i cannot have a child i've tried i've been having miscarriages oh men of god have prayed for me they are not herbalist get to the word Get to the word. Father, this is your word. I commit you. Prophet Isaiah in chapter 38, moved by the Holy Ghost, went to Hezekiah and said, put your house in order. You will not recover from this sickness. Isaiah was a major prophet. When a major man of God with a track record speaks to you, it's almost like a done deal. But a man used the word of God to change prophecy. Ah, the words you speak turn things help me that the word of god
can veto any prophecy any enchantment any pronouncement yes they said it but i change it yes they said everybody in my family is ss but i found a provision there is a bailout mystery i can't die as i can't die ss it is within my power to change it let me tell you there is nobody that prophesies a nonsense destiny to me i have worked with god enough to know that the keys are in the hands of a man hezekiah turned his face and said oh god remember my sacrifices is it not your word that 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 says how that they that give you no know, paraphrasing that he will remember you in the day of trouble and remember your sacrifice i have given to your house why should i die like a chicken no assumption you must bring your strong reasons no assumption you assume you will die like a chicken you must bring your your strong reason don't say even god knows as i hear you say as i hear you say many believers want things to happen let me tell you something faith is hard work are you hearing what i'm saying you've got to find it and sit down until the word of god superimposes your doubt i know there is a rent of five hundred thousand to pay the rent is not in the spirit the landlord is alive i know i know statistics says that there are no jobs in nigeria i know there is recession in nigeria but when you find it in the world now listen when you find it in the word and meditate let me tell you what meditation does here's how you know you are finished meditating you are finished meditating the moment you discover your role when you discover the part you have to play you have finished your meditation you meditate until you find it good master what shall i do to inherit eternal life not will you give me what is my part good master what is my part lord what is my part to be healed oh god will you heal me that's wrong prayer that's immature spiritual communication what is my role it is within your power good master what shall i do to inherit eternal life and jesus didn't say no 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 eternal life is cheap no as cheap as salvation is there is still a role you have to play are we together it says the word is nigh thee in thy heart and in thy mouth even the word of faith which we preach right that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the lord jesus romans chapter 10 from verse 8 to 10 he says and believe with thy heart that god raised him from the dead he said thou shalt be saved for with the heart he says man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto soteria salvation not just new birth unto health unto everything hallelujah your meditation has not finished if you cannot leave that place knowing you're part of the deal there must be your commitment oh lord what is the secret to end circles of failure it's like as soon as i'm recovering from one i'm finding another and then you search in god's word who suffered like me what is the key lord nothing is working in my life no job no marriage no money no peace what should i do oh there are enemies in my life how do i deal with them i've prayed and then the holy ghost takes you to psalms 149 let the high praise of god be in their lips and a double-edged sword in their hands to execute vengeance upon their nobles and to bind their kings with the fetters of iron to execute upon them the judgment that is written it says this honor has all the saints ah so my praise is a weapon of warfare this is my own part you shut your door and you begin to praise god like a madman and when you praise god like a madman all of a sudden you put pressure on his integrity the moment you act let me tell you god is
is not committed to delivering any promise in your life if you have not acted upon it having the readiness to judge all disobedience when your obedience is complete praise the lord so what is your part tonight number one your part is to believe god your part is to believe god don't allow science medicine the intellect to bring you to a point where you now start calculating and say okay now let's be real i know that i have a fibroid i touched it and i felt it is it really going to disappear and you now begin to think the question you have to think is how did it come were you born with it did you swallow it and it went there so how did it come you never question how it grew to be that big but now you are questioning how it will be shrink how it will shrink and disappear we have been trained in an environment that stimulates unbelief you mean i can complete that house by the end of the year haba this is october we've not even gotten to lintel level the last person who would have blessed me just said guy nigeria is hot hot for who don't don't generalize this thing let's be sincere enough persuasion i believe god oh. i believe god that's why we're ministering listen when you find what god has said commit him throw away your ego throw away your fears and commit god the bible says listen listen to what it says it says in my name they shall cast out devils that's what we are going to do shortly he said it we believe it and so we have the effrontery to gather you and to release a platform for the world to listen and we give them an assurance based on what based on his integrity that's why we have a worship team what's the assignment to create the atmosphere for his presence to make manifest because when his presence is here then we know that we have committed him brothers and sisters i want you to come to a point of restful assurance throw away that doubt you know some of you hear what i'm saying and most people when they hear preachers talking like this they look at their dressing they look at everything and say it's not your fault it's because you are enjoying as if the person was born like that apostle is because you don't know the fire that drove me from home to come here believe me i don't care what it is if god cannot solve your problem then we have found a reason for him to not be god but i believe god previous miracle services it did not happen another word for faith is persistence another word for faith is persistence you will never never stop persisting and claim you have faith no sir elijah prayed and asked his servant go and check he said there's nothing he would have said ah god i called down fire once what is this one is it that i'm backsliding he didn't even have time to ask that question restful assurance he went back to pray seven times and he saw the cloud like the feast of a man and he told ahab he said saddle your ass and run i hear the sound of the abundance of rain there are people here tonight trusting god for miracles in your body there are people here who do not even know what is wrong with their situation you are welcome who else will you run to let me just say something when i was when i was meditating and preparing this little exhortation the lord said the following things to me and i just want us to write it down just three of them quickly number one your action commits my integrity your action not your conviction your action your action at the point of action that's when my integrity is committed so you can believe and not see results faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction faith is not the conviction the conviction leads to faith 
faith is the action are we together yeah so i look at pastor femi for instance come femi i look at pastor femi for instance and let's assume he's trusting god to heal him maybe of chest pain look at this now he comes out and hands are laid on him and he just looks and he's angry at the next person because he's saying you did allow them lay hands very well it's not the it's not how much hands are laid on you you see somehow we have this understanding you can say i have chest pain and just a touch and then they go and, and you are wondering ah, ah. you would have stayed and touched and gone around and done this now your mind thinks because time is being spent on you it means god is saying something no no the miracle listen the miracle is in your faith it happens at the speed of faith it happens at the speed of faith this guy can have all kinds of tumors and just a touch in fact sometimes it may not even be a touch just your faith like there are people now already who are healed they don't know it's just because you can't go to the hospital it says and as they spake as peter spake these words unto them the holy ghost fell on all day that had him thank you thank you very much are we together it's your faith don't come here and be careless and just sit down no assuming there's somebody you brought here for instance who was who is deaf maybe on one ear or both ears and now it's time to pray and as we are praying and you are just standing you are watching the person oh in the name of Jesus if there is any dead person here be healed and you look at him and you are wondering ah, this guy let me concentrate on myself that guy will never be healed he's going to go out like that because number one you are embarrassed to take an action step because you don't want to put your hands in his ears and inform him and say they are about to pray I will check you your ego is telling you guy don't do this if you put your hands on his ears and you pray and you check him if it doesn't happen you will turn with your shame and hold him there that's exactly why the person will walk back and not be healed are we together they mention is a case and it looks like an embarrassing case you've been healed go and check yourself and you're wondering you are sitting down there and wasting your time and then you run later after service and you come and say, Jimmy, sorry, oh, don't be embarrassed. Do you know that when you were mentioning somebody with pile, it's me, oh, I, I, you saw me, Abby? Just quickly pray for me. You are joking because you see, the result is waiting for action immediately. Please get this thing. The Lord told me this that I should tell us. Your action commits my integrity. As they went, he said, go and show yourself to the priest. As they went, as they went as they went the woman said to herself with the issue of blood if i may but touch the hem of his garment do you know if she just stopped there talking with herself she would have gone back home with her issue of blood but then after speaking she still pressed at the point she did it there was a miracle number two this is the second thing god told me and i don't want to believe this applies to koinonia let me be wrong at least but i don't want to believe this applies to koinonia but i believe this applies to other people this is what god told me stop mixing god and any other god like traditional gods native doctors that's why i say i don't believe this applies to koinonia but I think that this is the unbecoming of the church in Africa. On Sunday, you are with God. Are we together? On Monday or Tuesday, you now quickly run to your village. And they tell you there's somebody. The guy is not exactly a herbalist. He's not exactly a pastor. He just has this gift. You cannot mix. Let me tell you something God has said. Give us Psalm 16. Psalm 16 verse 4. Give us verse 4. Psalm 16 verse 4. I want you to read the A part. One to read. Their sorrows shall be multiplied. That do what? That hasten after another God. That's what I was looking for. What will happen to them? Their sorrow. It will look. Let me tell you. Please hear me. I've never gone to a herbalist. 
but have ministered to plenty people who have gone to them. You will never get a sustainable result from a herbalist. But it's my father that said we should go as a family. Well, I know that there is a limit to which you can control that. But I'm telling you, you can insist and refuse. The Bible says there are sorrows. I know what I'm saying. In Africa, many people will say, oh, these people, they are just young people. They don't know what they are saying. The Bible says their sorrows shall be multiplied. That do what? That hasten after another God. So you have something he tells you to put in your pocket before you sleep. I don't care whether they ask you to read Psalm 1 or read Psalm 100. For as long as there is a genie and a charm in your pocket and you put all kinds of things and you have to get up, do something demonic, the man is telling you, go and buy a goat. Are we together? You buy a goat, they slaughter it, they turn the blood and they say it's done. Just be praying. Just because he said just be praying does not mean it was of God. Amen. I have discovered, let me tell you something. I have discovered that most people run to God as a last resort. You go to a doctor. If a doctor does not work, then maybe you go to a few men of God here and there. After they all jump and gyrate and nothing happens, somebody will just tell you, sorry, I wanted to advise you, but... You know, I don't want you to think I'm a bad person. But if you are serious, I can take you somewhere. You see yourself going to Zaria City. I said, don't be afraid though. That's how the man's face is. That, run away. Run! That's how it is. You go there. The, before any discussion, you are dropping consultancy fee. You know, I've told you here, Koinonia, hear me. Money and miracles don't go hand in hand. Bring money. Let me pray for you. You can sow a seed expecting a miracle. You can be challenged to commit yourself. But where somebody says the price for this pregnancy is 25,000 and I'm just doing it for you and your wife. If you ever get pregnant, it was the mercy of God. Remember when the gentleman saw the apostle with the power to lay hands on the sick and he offered money. What did he tell him? He said, your money perish with you for you think you will buy the gift of God. It's not for sale. It's priceless. So stop mixing God and witch doctors. You cannot mix God and witch doctor. Are we together? If you depend on God, depend on him. If you depend on a herbalist, depend on him. But don't mix them. You know, one time I was counseling a very dear, a dear lady who, now this is by no means being sarcastic on any family. But I was counseling a lady who told me that she went somewhere and they gave her razor to eat. Razor. And to her shock, it didn't injure her. Razor, like sharp razor, you bring out gillette, razor, and now open your mouth, throw it in. She was scared to death, but I tell you, she broke that thing, finished it, and swallowed it. No sign of blood. They are mediums, right? They are mediums. I can guarantee you that lady's life will never be the same from that day. Now, the challenge with this kind of people is they just come and say, ah, now I will never be involved in those kind of things again. Lord, my hands are washed. They think that's all to it. They think they are free. So, somebody says, I want to get married to you. Two weeks, he says, I don't know what is wrong, but the day I said I'll get married to you, somebody warned me and said, if I catch you near my wife again. So, the person gets up and says, I don't want trouble. And before you know it, the lady is 40, 41, no marriage. She loves God. She's serious. Are we together now? But she believes that everything is all. No, it's not just like that. Though. That's why God puts meetings like this to set people free. I don't know what your challenge is tonight. But I want you to know that the God of all flesh is in this place. 
tonight will be a night the lord spoke to me and i said it to us that it will be a night of massive freedom and deliverance there are there are people honestly who are going to stay on this thing and force some spirits to get out of the lives of people i learned early in life that spirits are behind the sufferings of people never confuse physical conditions with the influences of spirits they may manifest as different things but i give you a guarantee there are spirits behind them you are not just being hated for nothing you are only one out of seven billion people what makes people hate you everywhere you go they hate you there is a spirit it says for as a body without the spirit is dead there must be a spiritual cause for that physical problem and tonight in the name of jesus christ whatever will not let you go must leave you there are people carrying all kinds of plagues of bad luck and disfavor hear me as i'm speaking to you do you know it's not everybody you see suffering that is lazy or bad or unserious there are well-meaning people but these powers just sit on your destiny and say we will not go because it does not take discussion it takes the power of god to put them where they belong are we together there are some of us who have never experienced the favor of god you have had it in the lives of people you have clapped for other people but you've not seen it in your life if your uncle or your father or your mother is not there to help you you think you are finished because in your mind every time you are praying and say god visit me what you mean is please oh god help Ejimi to be the one to visit me but when that favor is on your life and those demons clear off the way you'll be surprised here people saying three jobs three jobs waiting for someone at this time now the question i want to ask you before we pray is you came with a challenge but do you believe do you believe that god can give you a testimony that's my first question no 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 don't answer me do you believe please don't 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 just assume you know what i'm saying i'm speaking from my heart you are seated outside you are seated in the overflow you are following online maybe in another nation or in another place do you believe that god can step in that's number one number two do you believe that god can step in now it's one thing to believe god will step in but do you believe god can step in now or are you saying oh god my eyes cannot see well but even if it's one that starts seeing i'm grateful you see it looks like his faith but it's not faith it's just an advanced form of unbelief lord i hold on to you i don't know what you will do with me tonight but i believe you and every instruction that comes i believe are we together when prayers when we're about to pray and we tell you every spirit that is disturbing anybody you don't just stand and, and you are waiting for somebody to be shouting and falling or you are waiting for yourself to fall no your heart is open you are praying time to release your prayer request you don't just tell the ushers let me drop my own and you drop it as if it's no you are dropping it and waving it goodbye and saying i dropped it because you will never return to me listen there is an attitude the miracle is in the attitude not just in the act the attitude lord as i drop this request i wave you goodbye i cannot drop it and write it again next year next 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 month are we together you are coming here trusting god for an impartation and an anointing you don't sit down carelessly you are listening carefully as the word of god is coming your spirit is open and that you believe that by the time the grace is shared i'm walking out of here a different person are we together you came here sick oh god this sickness i've been praying about it but today let me tell you do you know you can decide the day of your miracle the woman with the issue of blood said today jacob held on to the angel right and said i won't let you go he would have let him go and say okay the next time you come just inform me you can make it today 
when I was praying for this meeting, I said, God, I have one request. Please let everyone that comes here believing return with a testimony. That was my prayer for you. I've done my own part and the grace, the grace to produce the miracle you need by the grace of God is available. The mercy of God is here to help you. Your part is to believe God enough and respond in faith. Are we together? Every part of the meeting, God is going to do a quick work right now. But I want you to believe. Please be tired of where you are. Oh God, from January till now, I've not moved forward. I have to be sincere with myself. Give me an encounter that by now, between now and October miracle service, let me return with tears of joy in my eyes. There are two kinds of tears a man can cry. Tears of sorrow and tears of joy. It says you have turned my mourning into dancing. Everything I'm telling you to do is what I'm doing myself. Don't think I just came here empty handed. I came here with my heart full of expectation. I mentioned my own request before God and cried my heart to him. So I, I'm only a vessel but I'm also a benefactor. Because by and large, I will still listen to this message and I will receive every prophetic word. The trouble with us is you may think I'm a worker. Oh, I'm, I'm protocol. I'm media. I am a minister. I am this and not receive. You see how the leaders in this house, whenever they are here, they forget about anything and everybody's heart is open. That's, that's the attitude. Are we together? Don't sit down arguing and say, Madam, how are you? How do you feel? That's not your business. Focus on what God is doing and insist. The devil, in these kinds of meetings, hear me, Satan waits strategically for those whose hearts will not listen to the word. They are the kinds who will go back and their situations will be worse than it is because you see, when these demons and these spirits leave, they have to search for a life for continuity. And you can't stand neutral. There are others who come here. There are probably people sitting inside and outside. You were invited. But your heart is already here cynical. Will God really bless them? All these men of God serve and all this, their nonsense talk. You see, that kind of attitude will not give you a miracle. Don't come to God passively. You must come to him intentionally. Are we together? How many of us are ready to walk out of here with a real miracle? How many of us believe there is a place in the word of God for your case? You believe your case is not new. There is a place for the word of God. How many of you believe that it is within the power of God to wipe your tears and give you a testimony? And how many of you are ready to place a demand by faith? Please jump up on your feet and begin to pray. Rise up on your feet and begin to pray. Lord, I place a demand. Lord, I place a demand. Lord, I place a demand. Whether you are inside, outside, I place a demand. Online, I place a demand. On your integrity, I place a demand. On your favor, I place a demand. On your wisdom, I place a demand. Are you praying? Sheke pakata barata kata di bata. Shem proto sobari kata. Lord, I've been doing ministry with no anointing. I've been struggling in ministry, but I place a demand that I will encounter something, an unction, a grace that will change my life. Lord, my business has refused to grow. Everything I've tried to do is not working. But tonight, I place a demand. Lord, I'm tired of this genotype issue. I'm tired of this genotype issue. Lord, I'm tired of this barrenness issue. I'm tired of high blood pressure. I'm tired of pile. I'm tired of eye problems. of using crutches I'm tired of poverty living from hand to mouth I'm tired of
of failure tired of defeat change my story change my story change my story hallelujah listen hallelujah I want you to take two minutes you are going to cry for your family and say Lord as I stand here I represent an altar it's not just me alone the angel of your presence must enter my house tonight lift your voice and pray 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 oh God of heaven Step into my family. Step into my family. End that cause. End that bondage. The plague of death in my family. Bring it to an end. The plague of hardship. Nobody has a job in my family. End it all, God. Nobody is get fully employed. Nobody is born again aside from me. Step in, oh God. Step in, oh God. Nobody is making progress. People are just getting old. Nothing is moving. Change my story. The words you speak. point listen listen the last prayer point he said give us this day this day not tomorrow lord give me this day breakthrough give me this day promotion mention everything you want and say lord today my faith is for today if your faith says yes god will not say no if your faith says yes God will not say no. Lift your voice and cry. Give me this day healing for my body. Give me this day a new anointing. Give me this day an encounter with the spirit of wisdom. Give me this day direction for the next level of my life. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord is giving me one more prayer point. Don't be tired of praying. Prayer helps you release your faith. Listen. Hold on, please. Listen. Amen. Listen. I want you to pray with all your heart. I told you there are spirits behind every situation. Hear me. I want you to pray in one minute. That any spirit behind your seat. Leave the situation alone. Don't worry. Don't mention. Leave the headache. Leave what? That the spirit behind it. I like you to pray and declare that as God's prophetic word comes from here, that spirit is under arrest, is on fire, and it must leave. Hey. Lift your voice and pray. Leave the case. Challenge the spirit behind it. Leave the case. Leave the case. Challenge the spirit. 
the spirit behind failure, the spirit behind delay. Hallelujah. The devil is in trouble tonight. Rise up, everybody. Rise up, everybody. I tell you, I'm angry, my spirit. Rise up, everybody. We have to pray. Somebody has got to walk out with a testimony. Somebody has got to walk out of this place with a testimony. Somebody has got to walk out of this place with a testimony. Somebody has got to walk out of this place. Bring them out. Somebody has got to walk out of this place with a testimony. It must be over today. 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 It must be over. There is enough grace, brothers and sisters, to step into your situation. Lift your hands, everyone. Lift your hands, everyone. There is authority in this place, not just power. There is a difference between power and authority. There is authority in this place. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Sabarato kaparike te basala bakaria da badada. The Lord is asking me to pray in tongues for two minutes. Hear me. And while I pray in tongues, me, while I pray in tongues, I want you to bring all those under the anointing. That's what the Lord is asking me to do. Father, let your word go forth. I put the word of God on my prayer. Shebarete seda da da bakata, leke te preke te bash, deke re te tesh, deke re ke tesh, deke re ke tesh. Shebarete ba, inside outside, leke te preke te bash. The word of God is upon this prayer. Rete ke te ke te ke te ke te ke te ke te, e ke te ke te, leke te pra pa ta shebarete ba la ba. Barakata pras kata barata. Break Break are tongues of fire. They are tongues of fire. In those people, they can touch the magic. They go to second, they take it. Lift your hands, everyone. Lift your hands. I tell you, fire is burning in this place. You must be free. You must be free. You must be free. Just lift your hands. Lift your hands. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Every spirit, every covenant, every altar standing on your way to the next level in the name of Jesus. Right now, I command them to leave you now. 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 Every spirit holding your destiny. Every spirit holding your destiny. 
every spirit holding your destiny leave them now in the name of Jesus lift your hands at the count of three I want you to shout Jesus I'm seeing a sword in the spirit and on that sword I see something like a chain and on the chain is written stagnation in the name of Jesus lift your hands you may not even know this affects you at the count of three as you shout Jesus many of you will be surprised what will happen to you inside outside online let that spirit that has changed your destiny in one place as you shout Jesus I command it to leave are you ready now one two three I command stagnation go now go now go now go now, go now. stagnation by the power of the Holy Ghost by the power of the Holy Ghost by the power of the Holy Ghost stagnation leaves your destiny stagnation leaves your life stagnation Hallelujah. I'm speaking to someone right now whose life has refused to move forward. I don't know who you are, but every time you want to make progress, you have dreams, and in those dreams, you see things holding you. Sometimes you see chain. The Lord is asking me to release you wherever you are. Right now, I stretch my hands, I set you free. I set you free. I set you free. I set you free. Hallelujah. We are still praying. They must let you go. Parato soto barikete. Ladies, lift your hands. Sisters, lift your hands. I want to pray for you from my heart. Something is about to leave you now. Sisters, lift your hands. Every covenant that anyone is under here, please hear me, knowingly or unknowingly, that has tied any lady's destiny right now, ta 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 ta, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, may that fire come upon you and burn that covenant to ashes any ungodly alliance any covenant that has tied your destiny are you ready now ladies one two three shout jesus be free be free be free be free be free, be free. inside and outside i break it i break it i break it I break it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. I saw something fly above and the Lord said it's the spirit of death. The plague of death. There are families here. Every year someone must die every acrobatic every year somebody must die there are families here every season somebody must be sick i want to end cycles death does not just mean cessation from living cycles of repetition lift your hands everybody this one will affect a lot of people please open your heart hear me many of you may not have observed that there are cycles of repetition that happen in families cycles of repetition lift your hands the ministry of angels 
at the count of three with all your heart i want you to shout jesus and watch what happens to you some of you as you shout jesus you will have an open vision literally and you will see things that have happened in your family and god will bring you a word of deliverance are you ready now at the count of three father back up your word one two three spirit of death i arrest you i arrest you i arrest you i arrest you circles of death circles of death i arrest you hallelujah lift your voice and begin to pray cancel everything challenge every spirit 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 challenge every challenge every spirit Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to be fast. But I'm going to walk around. There is a reason why I walk around. Listen. You don't have to touch me. But let me tell you. As surely as the God of heaven is in this place. When I come close to you. If there is any spirit. That is holding your destiny. It must leave you. Believe me. Believe me. There is an anointing. You don't have to make the place rowdy. I'm going to walk through this road. I will come back here and I will go outside. Let's see how much you can do that very fast. Please, let your heart be open. You don't have to touch me. I'm telling you that any spirit, any spirit, I stretch my hands here. Any spirit, any spirit, any spirit, any spirit, any spirit, any spirit, Right now, right now, in the name of Jesus, every spirit, 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 go, 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 go. Right now, right now, right now, let them go. Every spirit, every spirit. Those of you out from here, as I walk through the crowd, get any spirit, any spirit. Your hands. Lift your hands. I'm going to walk across you. When there is any spirit, that fire right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Every spirit, every spirit, every spirit, every spirit, every spirit, every spirit, every spirit. Right now, you must go. You must go. You must go. You must go. You must go right now. Right now. Every spirit. Hide down anyone to rest. You must go. Hey! 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 Hey!
of you outside sorry about the sound i'm about to walk here listen you don't have to touch me i assure you by the god of heaven by the anointing of the holy ghost right now right now be free i'm passing your role the anointing is upon you the glory is upon you the glory is upon you the glory is upon you be free now be free now as I pass you, God is touching you. God is touching you. God is touching you. Hallelujah. Now there's someone here. Hold on, please. Hold on, please. There is someone in this vicinity. You had a dream three days ago and you saw me praying for you. Three days ago, exactly three days ago. Who is that person? came here the spirit of the lord told me to pray for the person please who is that person let's pray and then the sec don't don't come here please if you're not the person the second person i want to pray for there is someone here you've been having severe abdominal pain right here right here you're a lady this pain has been too much right here please who is that person i want to pray for you right now you're the okay stand here i want to pray for you right now you came for a miracle service lift your hands I use them as a point of contact to pray for everybody here. Anyone here with any strange pain. Ah, look at. I look at this lady and I see a spirit. Go! In the name of Jesus Christ. I command that pain to leave right now. Go. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me someone. I don't know what it is about this role. But there is someone. Your family has gone through repeated cycles of losses this is financial losses for a while i don't need to bring you god is going to bring you out right now lord whoever that person is right now that's the person i'm talking about a miracle comes for you a miracle comes for you i'm seeing a lady here looks like a small girl you see spirits in the night this is like witches this is what i'm seeing the lord is bringing deliverance for that person right now right now in the name of the lord jesus christ the lord is bringing a miracle for that person right now right now 
right now who is by the name John there's someone outside here ministering to those outside by the name John 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 who is John please are you John your name is John ah there's another John you are wearing Nigerian shirt John you are wearing Nigerian shirt is there someone like that do I know you stand here I need to pray for you because I'm seeing something on your head like madness can we have this okay thank you those outside listen in the realm of the spirit whether you are inside or outside believe me when I tell you this it makes no difference the only thing we have to lose you can see I'm talking outside but I'm still touching people inside that's the same I can be inside touching you don't don't think because you are standing far you have a disadvantage of sound but that's the only disadvantage it's not a disadvantage to your spirit are we together look at me where are you coming from from Quara State Quara State for this meeting no I'm a student in ABU oh you are a student in ABU I'm, I have to pray for you I'm seeing somebody reading and all of a sudden he starts talking like a madman just from academics and this thing I'm seeing is witchcraft I hear what I'm saying I, don't be afraid I'm not a prophet of doom I'm going to pray for you I don't know who is trying to protect anything while you are studying here but in the name of the God of heaven please hear me because while you are studying somebody else is hoping you don't pass but I lay my hands on this gentleman I use him as a point of contact to anyone here whoever has planned anything against you it returns back to them in the name of Jesus Christ all of you in this overflow this very one please lift your hand sorry again about the sound but I want you don't mind just lift your hands the Lord is telling me in seven days please hear me there are five people here in this room in seven days God is going to give their families dramatic breakthrough listen I will not touch you the power of God will locate them right now one that's one five of them in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ you don't have to bring them out seven days I stand under this prophetic and apostolic voice and I declare miracles 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 bring this little girl for me bring this little girl for me come sweetheart let her not fall here hug me come the Lord is saying I don't know what family this girl comes from but the Lord is saying he's giving that family favor right now favor for this girl's family favor for this girl's family favor for this girl's family I'm seeing a final year student here you've written your exams you thought you've graduated but I'm looking now and I'm seeing two courses and the Lord is saying we should change it I don't know who that person is here this point. I stand in the name of Jesus the son of the living God and I prophesy as the Lord has spoken to me we change it now we change it now help them we change it now I want you to believe everything God is doing here believe everything God is doing I'm looking at a family of seven people no marriage and God is saying arrest that spirit I'm seeing another family of four ladies no marriage I don't care who wait you don't have to come father I pray I'm standing here it doesn't matter where I stand I'm speaking to everybody right now in the next one minute all those whose family has been tied down maritally fire is coming upon those spirits right now right now right now in the name of Jesus be free be free be free completely free be completely free be completely free the Lord is showing me something I'm looking at this woman and I am seeing your children I know she may not I, I, I don't know if she understands him or not but I'm looking at her and the Lord is saying I should wait with her when it's time to go in I should carry her and meet her two children inside that's what God is telling me that I should carry her someone ask her I... 
Evelyn. 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 And who? Okay, they are inside. Evelyn and Mercy. Hold on. Because I looked at this woman and the Lord is saying he wants to visit the woman. And then the Lord told me that two of her children are inside. That when I'm going in, I should hold her and take her inside and minister to that family. I use this woman as a point of contact. You keep hearing me pray and repeating myself. It's because there are spirits that don't want to let people go. They must go tonight. Amen. Gentlemen, look at me. Look at me. Tap guy. It's your season of breakthrough. I know that you hear a word like this and think I'm joking. Until you hear the testimony. It's your season of breakthrough. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mommy, let me talk to you. Please come. The Lord is saying I should tell you. You hear Hausa, ma? You can speak English. No, no. I need to tell you what I'm saying in Hausa. Yes. That he's going to wipe you in such a way that you will forget the pain of the past. I don't know who you came with, but I'm prophesying to you. Mama, go and write it. This thing will happen. You will come back with a testimony. See, when a prophetic word comes on you, I want you to know that the end has come. There, there are thousands of people here. If God locates you, don't, don't sit down. You are doubting. Is it really God? No, 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 no. Mama, for your children, where are they? Come. Did you tell me because, uh-uh, mama, let me talk to you. I'm prophesying. I need to pray for this person because I am seeing God doing a miracle for him. This gentleman, huh? Where is he? Abuja. He's in Abuja. Yes. What's he doing? He's working for somebody and they are not even... Paid. Mama, let me talk to you. That's why I'm talking to you. You see this person, go and tell him by November a job is coming for him. I will not stand in the open. You are in Zaria here. So it's not like somebody, they ship somebody to come and stage manage. I'm saying it in the open. Go and tell him. My brother, I want to pray for you. There's delay in life. Come and stand here. Someone will look at you and think everything is all right. But if I don't pray for you, a time will come, you will be really frustrated. There's a photographer here that things are not working for. Where are you? God wants to change your story. I don't know if you're a photographer or something. Please, you see, I told us let's cooperate. I want us to finish very fast. There is a photographer here. I'm not guessing. You are here. Things are grounded. Who are you? Make sure you are not lying. Not country. You photographer business. Huh? Somewhere at North Gate. At North Gate. And nothing is happening. Do you love God? I have to pray for you. Because I'm looking at somebody who stood. You had a quarrel with somebody over snapshot and the lady cost you. This is what I'm seeing. That lady you see, uh, well, I'm not, I, I, it's not like I'm indicting people, but that lady you see, it's not everybody you see that is a normal human being. That lady cost you from that day. Things will dry up. You have, it's, it's not like you are careless, but if it takes a person to speak a word of a curse, it takes a higher anointing to help you. Hold my hands. Return back to your glory. I prophesy to you right now. In the name of Jesus. My brother, let me pray for you. Jesus is truly answer. You see, let me tell you, brothers and sisters. You can be suffering for decades. But when God decides to step in, that's the end of it. He just helps you. Praise the Lord. When he steps in, I'm hearing Joss. Joss. You came from Joss. You came from Joss. You came from Joss. You came from Joss. The Lord wants to give that person a miracle. You came from Joss. Please, if that person is here, let me. Who? Ah, this mama again. We've prayed for mama now. Oh, from Joss. I'm going to pray. Ah, ah, no, now. I will pray for her, but. No, I'm not saying your state of origin. You came from there. Not that you came from. I know, Sarah, I'll pray for you, but there's somebody else I'm seeing. Who is that? Sir, you're welcome. You came from Joe, sir. Are you a family? You too, you came. That is, sir. You came from Joss. Where in Joss? I'm with the University of Joss. You're with the University of Joss. I have to pray for you. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a man. 
who has been cheated. This is what I've seen in the realm of the spirit. Sir, you came all the way from Joss, University of Joss. You're a lecturer. You're a lecturer with University of Joss. Why am I seeing you not promoted? Well, I changed from I was lecturer. to the university. The system is not I'm, I'm, I'm going to pray for you because the Lord is saying I should prophesy to you that he's stepping into your life and he's giving you a miracle. Don't waste your time, sir. Ah, I'm seeing you writing like, I don't know if it's a, this is like a, uh, like a publication. This is what I'm seeing. This is a publication and a prof, a prof is going to help you and God is going to honor you with that publication. No, there are many publications to write. But you will return back. This will happen like a dream. The way God is going to wipe your tears. Praise the Lord. Yes, please. Yes, I'm sick. Uh, diagnosed with leukemia. Uh, leukemia. Don't worry, Daddy. I'm going to pray for you. We've not prayed for the sick yet. Are, are, we, are we together? I'm going to pray. When it's time to pray for the sick, I'll lay hands on you. Yes, sir. I'm seeing there's a corruption in your blood. And God has to cleanse you completely. Yes, so that you will not die. Don't be afraid of death and be thinking I will die and leave my family. Ah, uh ah. -uh. God is still alive. He's the same God who was there for you. Hallelujah. Sir. Just this prophetic word for you, that God is going to lift you. I'll come back to you when I'm praying for the sick. We're going to pray for the sick now. My dear, hold my hands. I'm seeing you climb a ladder, Sarah, and the Lord is saying it's time for you to stay on that ladder. You climb up and it brings you down. You climb up and it brings you down. You climb up and it brings you down. And the Lord is saying, let her climb and not come down. Therefore, I lay my hands on you and I prophesy that it's a new season. In the name of Jesus. There are two ladies inside the main auditorium. The power of God is coming upon them right now. The power of God is coming upon them right now. They are inside. The Holy Ghost is, a, is, a, is like a volcano. It's like an anointing. Two of them inside. The Spirit of the Lord is coming upon them heavily. This is breakthrough that God is bringing. Sir, you wanted to talk to me. Don't worry. You don't have to tell me what the issue is. You understand? If we say that, you see, we will not be able to attend to other people. And it will not be fair. Do we all agree? So, I must not mention your case. Just believe me. Please have the faith that God is going to touch you. I came out like this to encourage us. So that you don't feel I am there. It doesn't matter where you stand. Just for coming to this ground alone, the power of God is there to touch you. Augusta, come. Let me for you. This in you. Come. I have to pray for you. I'm seeing the spirit of death. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can he hear me? Who brought this guy? Can I, Gina? Can you hear me? I have to pray for you. This is the spirit of death on you. And the Lord is saying I should set you free. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you. And I command that spirit of death to leave you and go forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Father, I lay my hands on this gentleman. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus. Hold my hands, darling. I, I, is it your sister? Why are you here? You came from Joss too. Where in Joss? To the water. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Ebezina Chukunonsi Where is the mama that was here? Uh-uh, there was another woman who was standing here. Please bring her. Be careful with this, our elderly ones, please. Come, let's walk there. Lift your voice and begin to say, Lord, I believe you. Lord, I believe you. Lord, I believe you. Who is this? Who brought him? What's the situation? The father is inside. 
We are going to pray for the sick now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I'm seeing charm against a family. And the Lord is saying, let it end now. I don't know where that family is. That charm, that charm. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Mama, where are your children? Where are the children of this woman? The Lord gave me a word for them. You should have been ready now. Are they here? Please, so that we move to the next scene. I want us to finish here on time. I want us to finish here on time. Are they here? Where is her sister? Under the anointing. Hold on. Please, I'll just minister to her. We don't have time. Mommy, hold my hands. I look at you, mama, and I'm saying, just leave the children to play. That's all right. If they shout, those ones are children. Let them play. They are receiving something as they are all playing, I'm telling you. Praise the Lord. Lift your hands. You. Out of him, now! Mama, I lay my hands on you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. What do you want God to do for you? Sir, I want God to give me a child. To give you what? A child. A child? Yes, sir. My God. Your child? I am. I'm baroness. Mm. Mm. Ah. My God. 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 Mama, how many years? Ah, uh, I cannot say, sir. Go ahead. How many years? There's a reason I'm asking you. Ah, uh, it's long. Can you remember? Since I was born, I have never given birth. Uh, Since you were born? Yes, you are sir. married? Yes, sir. You've not given birth. How many years have you been married? Twenty-five years. I prophesy to someone here from the depth of my heart in the name of the God who sent me. I say it. I prophesy from this woman has touched the core of my spirit in the name that is above all names. I place a demand on my office, not my faith. My office, not my faith. My office, not my faith. And I pray in the name of Jesus. Anyone under any cause, whoever placed that cause must die. I say it again. Whoever placed any cause, whoever placed any cause, I command the ground to open and swallow that person. I say it again. Whoever plays any cause against anyone, shake it, 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 it. E reke te gata. Baroko to basete. E brota sata. Barete ke te te. Leke te ke te. Reko to shabariata. Whoever plays any cause on anyone, may the earth open and swallow that person. Mama, where is your husband? He's not here. 25 years. You will think, me, I thought that what, this was one of her children. Mama, lay your hands on your stomach. Where is your husband? Not here, sir. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm not asking you whether you have faith. Look at me. Look at my eyes. 
if you believe i am sent from god in the name that is above all names carry your child carry your child carry your child carry your child go and return with a testimony mama hold my hands i take away sickness from your body in the name of jesus christ i pray for two of you hold your hands please lift it let's hurry up as i lay my hands on both of you the grace for supernatural favor i release it upon you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i want us to hurry up please bring out your prayer request pass them to the ushers while you are doing that all those who are trusting god for healing now is your time please come out quickly i want us to be very very fast don't injure the ones who are already here it's going to be very very fast now all those outside listen those in the second and third overflow bring that girl those in the second and the third overflow that means the overflow by the roadside they can come in but those in this first overflow please stand outside those in this first overflow you can go outside so that will save time so that will save time let me pray for these people promise come uh, Benga come Kenny come um, Michael come where's Pastor Femi come I'll lay hands on you people you go and lay hands on those outside please make sure that the people are healed we are not playing games this is not just formality please come out bring the lady out release her now in the name of Jesus I command you spirit it's time for you to go right now in the name of Jesus amen let me pray for these gentlemen when I pray for them they are going to go outside don't look at them look at the anointing that is upon them in the name of Jesus that grace the anointing that grace that grace that anointing that grace that anointing that grace that anointing please you go just pray for the people outside and Jimmy please come you join me we'll pray for those here now listen we're going to be very fast please if we don't ask you what is wrong with you you don't have to say it now let me do something please if you are elderly here make your way to the front please if you are elderly make your way to the front our mothers our fathers so that i can just lay my hands on them and then they can go back please i please, some of you that are coming are not elderly please go back if you are elderly elderly is very clear if you are elderly we know elderly means you have a grown-up child please please let's save ourselves any embarrassment hallelujah worship team you will lead us through a series of powerful worship now if there are your loved ones who have not sent their request please let them do it very fast because i want us to pray here now make sure you drop your request everyone under the sound of my voice father i pray for these ones as i pray for you i don't know what the situation is but i'm placing a demand by the god of heaven inside and outside that there will be miracles in the name of jesus christ amen and amen heal the sick oh god and let there be miracles in the name of jesus christ mama please hold my hands in the name of jesus you're the god of wonder amazing god you're the god of miracles amazing As I pray for you, go back god to your you're the god of wonder amazing god be you're free the now. god of miracles i release miracles. your destiny i release amazing god say you're the god of wonder Amazing God, you're the God of miracles. Amazing God, you're the God of wonder. Hey, the name of Jesus. Amazing hey. God, you're the God of miracles. Amazing, you're the God, say, you're the God of wonder. Yes, as they pray for you, just go back and Amazing check yourself. We don't God, have the time for testimonies. You're now. the God of miracles amazing you are god you're the god of wonder amazing god you're the god of miracles amazing you are god you're the god of wonder amazing god you're the god of miracles amazing you are god 
say, God of God of wonder, amazing. Amazing God, God of God of miracle. Amazing. Amazing. Out. 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 Out of Amazing God. Out. You are the God of miracles. Miracles. Amazing God. Amazing! 
God. You are the God of miracles. Miracles, amazing God. I say you are the God. You are the God of wonders. You are the God of miracles. Amazing God. I say you are the God. 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 Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. 
Your name is Yahweh. You're the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. God, your name is Yahweh. I say your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Hey, you are the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. I say your name is God, your name is Yahweh. You're the God of wonders, amazing God. You're the God of miracles, amazing God. You're the God of wonders, amazing God. You are the God of miracles, amazing God. You are the God of wonders, amazing God. Rise up on your feet, everyone. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Please shout it, shout it. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that my request upon this altar must become my testimony. Say it again. I decree and declare that my request upon this altar must become let her go free in the name of Jesus must become my testimony no matter how many I believe that God is able to turn them into testimonies. Now listen, I want you to stretch your hands here. Don't ask God, don't pray. Stretch your hands, mention your request, mention his testimony equivalent. Are you getting the point now? There is barrenness here. I receive my baby. Please, you've heard the testimonies of people. Let me tell you, this is a covenant you see happen. It's not just that we do it. It's something that God said. 
Are you getting what I'm saying now? Please stretch your hand and begin to call the things that be not as though they were. And watch the God of wonders. Go ahead. I'm releasing my faith with you. Go ahead and pray. Those online, make sure that you follow us. We're praying on the request now. I don't care what your challenge is. I don't care from which part of the world you're streaming and following. I want you to know that the God of all flesh, we have a covenant of answered prayers in this place. And we're praying on your request. Father, give your people testimonies. Give them turnaround miracles. Release jobs, oh God. Release marriages, release children. Release ministries, release anointings and mantles and graces. Release revelation from the throne. Release prayer unction. All you can ask Break habits, break things. That tie down the destinies of your people. The power that was Stretch your hands. It's an act of faith. Shebaka para do 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 brada da da. Reke te ke te ke te para da 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 da. Lord, let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles for your people. We spread these things before you. We spread them before you. Look upon them, O God, with your grace and your mercy. Let them stand for our miracles, supernatural miracles. Release our faith in your power. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, Mari Ketebanda Bariakata, we decree done in the name of Jesus. Are not angels ministering spirits sent forth to minister to the heirs of salvation? We receive the ministration of these results and answers in the name of Jesus. It is done, Lord, exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or imagine. In the name of Jesus, we rejoice with thanksgiving. In Jesus' name, we decree. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Lift your hands, everyone. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. Listen, listen. Let me teach you something about the anointing. The anointing introduces possibilities in your life. These are things that were not there. If it's not there, you can't say it's there. It's a lie. Tonight, don't tell lies. There are things that are not in your life but should be there. The agency that will bring it is the anointing. There is favor that should be in your life but it's not in your life. If it's not there, everybody will know. When it comes, we will also know. There were things that were not in my life years ago. When it came, I knew to the degree that brought it. Listen, tonight is the ministry of the spirit. I told you it's the anointing that is responsible for the result. It is the, the it, it said, how shall these things be? What is the dynamics? It said the power of the highest. That's how it happens. It has never changed. It is always an encounter with the anointing. Your, the job of your faith is to connect you to the anointing. 
it is never faith that moves God no your faith connects you to the power of God tonight I came with an anointing there is enough grace there is enough anointing I tell you this there is enough anointing if you will believe there is enough anointing your situation is not the first your situation is the is not the first your family situation is not the greatest there is nothing new under the sun God's ability is God's ability is working in me is working in me is God's ability God's ability is working in me it's God's ability. God's ability. It's God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. It's God's ability. God's ability. God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. God's ability. God's ability. God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. Hear me. The solution to your problem is in the anointing seek an encounter with it when the anointing comes to you that's the answer that's the answer listen listen when the anointing comes your direction that's your answer that's god answering your prayer i'm not talking about falling down i'm talking about an encounter the answer is in the anointing your faith only connects you to the anointing life can change in a moment your life can change in a moment God is a prayer answering God he answers prayers by releasing his power he sends his power through his word in the direction where it is needed and received needed and received Make you more, make you more, make you more, make you more. 
Please lift your hands. The prayer answering God. The prayer answering God. There is a God that answers prayers. Koinonia, he answers prayers with his power. He answers prayers with the anointing. The anointing is answered prayer the anointing is answered prayer the anointing kato soto kata is answered prayers barakoto shote ketele kata the anointing is answered prayer it is by the anointing there is no other way it is by the anointing Abu Wali Please lift your hands. The Lord is going to do a very quick work tonight. I'm hearing people crying in the spirit. And the Holy Ghost is telling me these are those who have been delayed. Delayed by the power of darkness. I'm about to release the anointing upon people experiencing delay. Bring them out. I stretch my hands. Delay. You come on that judgment. You come on that judgment. Delay. Delay. I stretch my hands. All the overflows online. Anyone here. Any family. Under the spirit of delay. Bring them out. Sakoto Shabariata. I decree and I declare. I decree and I declare. The fire of God breaking the chains of delay. 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 Bring them out. Wani Kamar the Kai Papu Wani Kamar the Kai Delay over, over forever. There is an anointing. I told you the anointing is the answer to the prayers. There is an anointing. I'm seeing in this main bowl 16 people. I'm seeing a number 16. Where are they? I stretch my hands. That sword of the spirit breaking delay. There are families with a covenant of delay. A covenant of delay. A covenant of delay. Breaking now. Breaking now. Breaking now. The covenant of delay. Shakatatata. Reketo Kosotoba. The covenant of delay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Overflow three. Please look at me on the screen. You don't need to bring them here. It's too long a distance. Those inside that building. Just look at me on the screen because I'm seeing angels moving at overflow three and I want to pray for you overflow three right now in the name of Jesus right where you are in the name of Jesus I'm seeing a number 24 24 people right at overflow three the Lord is breaking delay breaking delay from them breaking delay right now breaking delay hallelujah there are still people listen i want you to believe in what god is doing i want you to have a testimony without an encounter with his power it will just be a religious service i promise you 
and you will go back it is the power of god the power of god is what draws the line hallelujah delay delay god is not yet done where is that family oh lord that nobody has moved forward i'm seeing delay don't worry god is coming in the anointing of the spirit is looking for a family there is a family there is a family there is a family they are here there is a family jesus help this woman there is a family this is not just an individual thing there is a family the power of God is searching for a family that the devil has kept 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 so that they will not rise hallelujah we are going to be fast tonight there are many things to do i want you to be sensitive the lord is showing me a vision now and i'm seeing a grave i'm seeing something that looks like a black leather inside that grave and i'm seeing an angel of the lord pull it out and the lord is saying this was done against a family lord where is that family right now i stretch my hands whoever programmed the earth to fight any family tonight is a night of resurrection I decree and declare let it come out now let it come out the breakthrough of that family the healing of that family the miracle of that family I release it now hallelujah hallelujah I'm standing here and I'm looking at this stage one two three four five six seven i'm counting seven stones and the lord is saying these are tight destinies this is the whole destiny of a family seven of them but may the sword of the god i serve in the name of jesus any family tied down by witchcraft any family tied down by ordinances i decree and declare by the blood of jesus liberty tonight liberty tonight hallelujah i'm seeing a family and there are four ladies and all the four ladies have a growth either a breast lump or something in their body four ladies all of them have it in the name of jesus christ wherever this family is regardless of what what overflow i stretch my hands now in the name of jesus christ that family does not need healing that family needs deliverance I command deliverance right now. Shakatos kata, lekata koto soto priyata. I command deliverance for that family now. I command deliverance now. When I was praying, I saw at least eight women that were barren no child doesn't matter what years some of them connected to families and the lord told me he was going to open the wombs of every single one of them every 
single one of them every single one of them please lift your hands i want to pray now i believe in deliverance i really do this mama there's serious witchcraft in your family as i'm praying for you now i'm seeing a rope a rope i'm seeing a rope and the lord is saying that i should set this mama free i'm just being fast because i want us to conserve time hallelujah listen do you know why we do not minister deliverance just as a religious thing no it is a way of separating people and the influences that tie them down that's what i want to do now i want to pray listen many of you inside many of you outside are here now because of spirits you may not believe it you may not agree but it's true they are the forces responsible for the pain and the tragedies that we are going through but i want to pray for you now your own is to believe just do what i'm asking you to do we have already prayed if those spirits do not clear out of your life there is no breakthrough you you would have come to waste your time let me tell you the truth it is when those forces leave your life families here spirits have sat on the destinies of families do your worst go to school and come back and meet us get a job and still come back and meet us marry and come back and meet us are we together it's time for them to go lift your hands everyone i want to pray for you now I'm going to command those devils to leave you listen it's not a suggestion they must go they must leave you are we together now I'm praying for you please now because the ushers are doing their best the protocol is doing their best but there is only so much they may not be able to help people there are people outside please be your brother's neighbor if someone is under the anointing and is capsizing to enjoy himself you can do well to help please you can help at least manage the ushers will come for it because this prayer i'm about to pray now is going to bring strange manifestations in people i see a lot of wild spirits wicked ancient spirits all shapes and all sizes they must go now just one instruction I just want you to shout when I ask you the name of Jesus once and at the top of your voice. Now listen, don't be surprised when you find out that demons are manifesting through you. It doesn't mean you are possessed. No, that's a different thing altogether. Some of you as you are here, you are representing your family. Nothing may be wrong with you as a person, but because of your family. Are you ready now? Lift your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, you have anointed this place as a place of fire a place of grace and deliverance there are lives and destinies that have been tied down for ages and in the name of jesus at the sound of my voice may your voice be in my voice may your grace be in my voice i send an alarm to the length and breadth of this place that at the count of three anyone that shouts that name let there be deliverance right now are you ready one two three i command those devils go now go now ancestral spirits spirit husbands spirit wives yokes of darkness i command you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Ancient spirits. Spirits that have been generational. Familiar spirits. I command you. Now. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. 
Overflow one, overflow two, overflow three. Let them go now. Let them go now. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm seeing a number of ladies. There are all kinds of spirits manifesting in the night as a man and a woman manifesting as animals in your sleeps and dreams. In the name of Jesus, where are those ladies? Fire is looking for them now. Shakoto Soto Tetiata. Ekelatos Kopriata. I separate you from those spirits. I separate you from those covenants. I separate you from those ordinances. Any man, any woman, any entity appearing to you in the night using the faces of men and animals in the name of jesus i command by the spirit a severance between you and them hallelujah sir this baba can i talk to you sir please come god is about to change your story forever i don't know you sir but i want to pray for you stand up please stand up sir i'm looking at you in a vision and i'm seeing you are not alone you came with some people the, your children one one child your son eh? only you no there's a son is here. where is he come come and stand daddy i want to pray for you that this life of hardship god one please stand up please stand up you don't have to kneel down sir this is your dad I want to pray for you. You came believing. Eh? August, is it Augustus? I'm hearing the name Augustus. Augustus. Is it Augustus? Is it Augustus, Augustine, or something? Augustus. Please, if that's your name, let me just talk to you quickly. I want to minimize personal prophecy so that we can do much. We want to pray for the sick. I want to take out time and do an extensive deliverance tonight because there are people that my sister come this lady this one not you you are not a woman my brother this come lift your hands shout over forever in the name of Jesus Christ for you and your family it's over in the name of Jesus Christ sir if you have never believed a man of God in your life what is about to happen to you there is a reason why I ask you to come because the Lord showed me that there was a son and I want to prophesy to you that this life of hardship will end like smoke before the wind. You believe it, sir? Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus, it's over right now. I stretch my hands and I decree and declare that it's over. In the name of Jesus, over forever. Sir, hold my hands. Go and prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ, go and prosper by the anointing of the spirit of God go and prosper Gabriel who is Gabriel Gabriel I'm hearing the name Gabriel please let's hurry up so that we don't waste time Gabriel Gabriel is he Gabriel what's your name huh Augustine come you are Gabriel why is he here Augustine I want to pray for you. Where's your family? My dad is around. My sister. Hold on. There's a man wearing white. Is he your father? White shirt. Call him. Let him come. Who is that? Who is that? There's somebody. I'm seeing somebody wearing white. What's, please coordinate them. What? You're welcome, sir. Your name is Gabriel, sir. I'm going to pray for you. Please stand here. I want to pray for you. This is the guy wearing white. Come. What is he? My brother. Your brother. Come and stand. God wants to change your life. I don't know you, but I saw someone standing close to you wearing white. That's why I said there's somebody wearing white. Two of you, I want to pray for you. You love Jesus. God is going to change your life. Why is he here? 
Your name is Gabriel too. You too. I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, my God. Honestly, I tell you, God is visiting families. I don't know if it's because it's first October, but I see strange miracles. You, this one, put your hand on your stomach there, right now. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing fire coming on you. And the Lord is, I should tell you, he's taking something away from your stomach. That's what is happening right now. In the name of Jesus, I command that thing to go now. My brother, there is oppression. There's a spirit that you need to be delivered from. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Out now of his life and his family. Help two of them. God is delivering them. This is the spirit that is destroying their family. What's your name, sir? Augustine. Augustine. Where's the other Augustine? Okay, you are the one. You are the Augustine. Where are you from? Abia State. Abia State. Yes. I want to pray for you. God wants to give your family a miracle. Do you believe that? Lift your hands. There's bad luck in your life. The Lord is asking me to end it now. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands. I end bad luck. Over. The boy doesn't even believe. As you are standing, the anointing still touch you, but it doesn't have faith. Don't come and stand here and you are wondering. I'm not a herbalist. Have I prayed for you? What's your name? Ye two. Ye two. What is ye two? I'm seeing Y E. Is it Y E T U or ye two or ye two? Something like that. Ye two. Something that has to do with ye two. Y E T U. I don't know if it's part of someone's name or something. Ye two. Who is that? That's her name. What's her name? Ye two. Can you imagine? How can you call somebody's name Yetu? You can guess Gabriel, you can guess Mary. But Yetu, I want to pray. There's something being taken from her life. Hold my hands. And the Lord is saying I should take it away. In the name of Jesus, let it roll like a curtain. And leave her life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is of the devil. And I release your wife right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of jesus your miracle has come your miracle has come you love jesus my friend look at me you love jesus i want to pray for you ah in the name of jesus why is she here your dad there is a copper that i want to pray for there is a copper something is coming on you my dear Let me pray for you. Don't worry. If, if, I, if all I do, I, I just lay my hands on you. Um, it, it doesn't matter. Please, why are you here? You are Gabriel? Gabriel. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for this guy. God is giving you favor. Great favor. Great favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's, there's bad luck in your life and your family. But it's going now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's going. That's why you're here. Gabriel. Aleku is there. This is like an idol. Aleku or Aleku. Eh? Aleku. Aleku. Who is that? Eh? Hold on. Where are you from? Aleku. This is something that has to do with a tree. Is there something like that? Is a what? Why are they coming out? What is why are you? They named somebody after the idol, and the Lord is saying, who, who is the person? Whose name? This is it's not just an idol. We are going to pray for Benway State. But the, every state has a devil somewhere. I'm saying this is like somebody's name. Ale, Ale Kuos, Ale something like that. Ale Ku also. Who is this? Huh? What's that?
Alleluia. Praise God. Alleluia. What's your name? Eh? Grace. Please, can you help us with this mic? The mic, please. Where are you from? Benway. You are from Benway. Yes. The Lord is showing me something. Look at me. If I'm right, say I'm right. If, if it's no, say no. I'm seeing you lying down and you are having a dream. Yes. And in the dream, you are calling this name I've been calling. Yes. Is that true? They called that name three times. One, two, three. That idol. Is that true? Yes. Sir. From that day when you woke up, your life was never the same again. Is that true? Give her the mic now. Let her talk. Yes. Sir. I want to pray for you. Look at me. Hold my hands. If you are from Benway here, hold my hands. Anything, any programming that has been done with any God, you will be surprised what will happen now. In the name of Jesus Christ, anyone here from Benway whose destiny has been tied to any tree or any devil, right now, I use this lady as a point of contact. As God is touching her, Shakato Totokata. Out of their lives now. Out of their destinies now. Daddy, let me pray for you, sir. This is your first time here? No, sir. I've been coming, sir. You've been coming, sir? Yes. I want to pray for you. What do you do, sir? Sir? What do you do? I'm a staff of a medical university. I have to pray for you, sir. Because I look at you, and not, not only because I'm looking at you, nobody will look at you and nobody. There's serious depression, and I have to pray for you. That's number one. Number two, you have, do you know what they call the cause of hardship? You are not a lazy man, but there is hardship in your life. And the Lord is asking me to help you. Can I pray for you, sir? In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I pray for this, our daddy. Let there be a miracle right now in his life. I command this yoke of hardship to go. Let it go forever. In the name of Jesus. Let it go forever. Jumai. 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 Is that your name? Uh, well, I'll pray for you, but this is not the person I'm seeing. Jumai. I'll pray for you. Your family is oppressed. There is a spirit that must go now. Bring her. I've not even started praying. Bring her. There is a, a, a wicked spirit that I see in this family. A very wicked spirit that I see in this family. This is something that is older than, older than old. This is hundreds of years old. But in the name of Jesus, I'm praying now. I use you as a point of contact. I command that spirit, you must go now. Hallelujah. Please, just allow me. This is, Juma, I'll pray for you. But I'm seeing a family. This is like a curse. No matter what the men do, they never rise. The Lord is saying I should break it. Something is happening to a family right now. Let me pray. My sister, this is your first time here. I want to pray for you. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Don't be afraid. As I pray for you, the Lord is going to open a door in your destiny that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus, I hold your hands now and decree and declare that everything that has tied you down, everything that has tied you down, right now in the name of jesus there is disfavor in your life anybody who plans to bless you something turns them away from you anybody who plans to bless you something turns them away from you i hold your hands and i release you right now in jesus name i want to pray in a hurry there is a family all the men it doesn't matter whether you are hard working whether you go to school or not but the lord is asking me to pray for that family right now lord where are they I'm stretching my hands now and I'm declaring anyone here inside, outside, under the sound of my voice that belongs to this category as I stretch my hands right now I release the power of God to that family right now 
I speak to the men in that family arise now arise now arise now arise now arise now help that woman arise now arise now the men in that family arise now arise now in the name of Jesus There's somebody here you lost your job in the month of March March you lost your job please where is that person you were working but in the month of March I want us to hurry up I, I'm, I'm trying to see that we conserve time the month of March I don't know if you are except if he's a person his family overflow tree then they can just locate him you lost your job there's something you lost your job in the month of March where is that person Please quickly, if there's someone like that. What were you doing? I was a banker. I was a banker. You were a banker? Yes, sir. Something happened? Yes, sir. And they dismissed you? Yes, sir. What are you doing now? I'm doing my PG program for now. Do you believe if I pray for you, you will get a job? Yes, sir. Will you come and testify? Yes, sir. <laughs> Where? Where have you been praying for? Ah, sorry. Where have you been praying for for a job? Uh, same bank. bank same job. bank. Same bank. You want them to call you back? Yes, sir. Do you believe they can call you back? Sure. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. Because you see, I'm looking at something that had to do with money, and truly the guy was innocent. But they just joined people and since there was nobody to stand for him they joined everybody and threw them out but in the name of jesus whatever should not leave you and left you i call it back to your life now i call it back to your life now i call it back to your life now hear me I know many of you may not why is he here sir come well stand up sir you were outside yes, overflow three overflow three yes you sir. lost your job where were you working i'm working in hospital which hospital? an accountant which hospital Tukutuku medical centers so that you see we don't ask this question because we are prying into your privacy. I hope you are not embarrassed. Sometimes we ask it so that people don't think that this thing, because there are still people with all these things they see, they still believe that maybe someone is playing games. At least this one is not, you are watching it now. Which hospital, sir? Tukutuku Medical Center, Zaria. At uh, Tukutuku. Okay, where are you working now? I'm just, I'm managing with one private school. What do you want God to do for you? Just get back the job back to that place no 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 another job sir another job yes. do you believe if i pray for you god will give you a job i believe that. do you know why i'm prophesying to you in the open so that you will testify in the open too what's your name sir i'm paul paul yes sir god will give you a job eh? amen the heaven of heavens belongs to the lord listen so when it has to do things there, we don't legislate. We make petitions. But the act has he given to the sons of men. I give you a job now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy it in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. He will go and return with it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Um, how many of us are trusting God for healing miracles? Or came with loved ones that are really sick? Okay, we have a lot to do. So what will happen is, we'll take a break now to minister very quickly to the sick. And then after that, I'm still going to minister to people shortly before we do the final prayer. Will that be okay? Now, but while we are doing that, please, no laziness. There will be prayer points. Are we together? There will be prayer points. Once the prayer point comes, pray. Because in that prayer point, you will receive your miracle. Praise the Lord. But don't sit down yet. I'm, I'm not walking around, but I just want to. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord directing me to someone. There is, there is something that we must settle here. 
I'm seeing an anointing going around this place. I'm seeing an anointing going around this area. There is oppression over someone's destiny. That's the lady in the name of Jesus. I command that devil to go now. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bring her out. There's no space here, right? Please, don't push them. Don't push them. We are coming back. Just take her out to wait for me. Mama, what do you want God to do for you? Kina de chuo, chuo kafa. To mama mu fara do akije ki jirani agabako. Zam miki adu. I'll pray for you. I'll pray for you. Let it be over now. That oppression. Let it be over by the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is where I'm coming to. In the name of Jesus. Hold on. Hold on. In the name of Jesus. I saw light moving across here. And God wants to visit a family right now. Three of them. One, two, three. Where are they? Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the visitation come now. No hiding. The Lord must touch them. That's why you came. The Lord must touch you. Casting crowds. Lifting hands. Bowing hearts. That's all we come to do. Let her go now. Casting crowds. Out. Lifting hands. Bowing hearts. That's all we come to do. In your name. We will rise, Adonai, you reign on high, in your name, in your name, we will rise, Adonai, Adonai, you reign on high. Look at me, that girl, look at me, shout Jesus. Something is tying you. Let it lose you now. I stretch my hands to you. Let it be over now. Hallelujah. Now please, for those of you coming here for the first time, we take our time. We, you see that we don't announce instant miracles except because we don't have the time. Our time is very limited. Praise the Lord. Now this is what we are going to do. Um, while I give you the prayer request, please listen carefully. Those, please listen carefully. I want to pray particularly particularly no matter what overflow you are in if you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb don't come now but when it's time to come I want you to come I want to pray for you by myself but any other issue those inside I want you to come stand here and then part of overflow two maybe half of overflow two can join them now overflow one please you go to your projector stand overflow two and those spilling over at the roadside you can move to the projector stand overflow three if god grants grace and there's time i'll just run and come and visit you briefly just to let you know we're together overflow three move to your projector stand hallelujah and we're going to pray very quickly please if they don't prophesy to you or they don't minister to you don't worry we have to pray quickly so that i'll focus and do other things i want everybody to receive will that be fine but those who are trusting god for fruit of the womb whether you're in overflow one two three wherever i'd like you to please come those online doesn't matter any nation those following us online doesn't matter your nation you're trusting god for a miracle i want you to connect right now by faith hallelujah so we're going to do three things at the same time number one you're going to be submitting your prayer request to the ushers number two you're going to be praying the prayers that i'll give you while preparing our faith and then number three will come out is that all right praise the lord so let's do that very quickly very quickly please you're trusting god or you came with a sick person now is your time to come out please quickly 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 jesus we bless you I don't know You reign no more Casting crowds Lifting hands My 
going on It's what we've come to do Casting rods We are lifting hands Bowing hearts It's what we've come to do It's in your name In the name of Jesus, I command that spirit to leave her now. Leave her now. In the name of Jesus. Can you lay your hands on her, Jimmy? Just on her chest or anywhere. Just touch her there. In the name of Jesus, I decree. I curse that spirit. You go and you go forever. In the name of Jesus. Now this is what will happen. Please, we are going to be very fast. We have to be fast. You see that there are lots of people. You have our miracle services. If you came with someone, just be patient. We are going to attend to them. Praise the Lord. Thank God we have, uh, we have many hands. And by the grace of God, we'll coordinate. We'll make it very fast. Ushers, please be collecting the prayer requests. If your loved ones are here to send their own, send them a text quickly. And she can join the queue. Just keep them somewhere. I'm going to lay my hands on them. Praise the Lord. How many overflows do we have? There's an extra overflow I see by the road. It has spilled over. Maybe overflow four. You can, uh, let's see. We have to be fast. Praise the Lord. Okay, this is what will happen. Um, Pastor Jimmy will be at the overflow outside here. Pastor Alpha, you'll be at the overflow here. Benga, you would go to overflow three. Is there someone outside here? Who is outside here? Pastor Alpha is outside. Um, promise. Promise you will be here with Pastor Alpha. And then um, Pastor Femi, you'll be with um, you'll be with Benga right there at the overflow. Inside here, I don't know how many people are left. And by God's grace, God will grant us grace. And we'll have a lot more people to be able to minister. Okay, Kenny. Kenny, join join um, a Jimmy. You join a Jimmy there. I think that's that's all right so far. Let's let's just trust God for grace. Father, we agree in the name of Jesus Christ that for everyone we are praying for, it doesn't matter who lays hands on them, let there be miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be miracles. The devil is a liar. Let there be miracles in the name of Jesus. Put your hand on your stomach, my dear. I want to remove something from your body now. In the name of Jesus, I curse that spirit, that devilish spirit. Father, let there be miracles in Jesus' name. Please, let's go very quickly. We we'll need more hands. I don't know if we we'll still have people. I know they may. Aaron, what if you are not doing anything? Please, if you can help out in Overflow 3 with them so that at least we can help to coordinate things there. Praise the Lord. Father, let there be an avalanche of miracles here right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ please worship team you're going to give us we're going to pray one prayer first i'd like you to decree and declare and say father i prophesy over myself that my miracle locates me now lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray father we give you all the praise do i not leave now how to do Come and change my story Give me a testimony Do what only you know How to do Can I hear you say Do what only you know Do what only you know How to do Can you lift up a voice and say Do what only you 
You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh. Are we done? Are all the requests here, please? In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, I bow my knees before the God of my covenant and I decree and declare that every request placed here I turn it to a testimony now I turn it to a testimony now strange testimonies now strange testimonies now Lord I cry that you step in and do impossible miracles in the name of Jesus Christ listen let me tell you there are things written here that except the writer if you read it you won't even believe that it can happen but i pray the god who has the all-seeing eye that can see every request a representation of every man's pain here i call on that god answer by fire answer by fire Father, there are issues here that are impossible with men. Some of them have deadlines that cannot be achieved humanly. But in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I prophesy, let there be strange miracles. Strange miracles now. For all those connecting from whatever nation, in the name of Jesus, we agree with you here. The same fire that is on this altar, through the internet, to your various localities, you receive the same testimony in the name of Jesus. Every human agent, that must partner with God for this request to be granted we force them from their hiding places to appear now in the name of Jesus Christ whoever must die for this request to be answered in the name of Jesus the ground opens and swallows them Whoever must lack sleep for this request to be granted we seize their peace and their sleep now. Hear me? Any mortal man that says over his dead body for you to testify may God answer their prayers this night. The Lord is opening my eyes. I know they are still ministering outside. Let's be patient. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing trees. I'm seeing trees in the realm of the spirit. And I'm seeing these trees. It's like a representation of families. Hold on please. I'm seeing these trees like a representation of families. And I'm looking at it. I've never seen a tree bringing out blood. Human blood. But in this vision... I'm seeing a tree, but I'm seeing human blood. 
this is like a representation of families i decree and declare i don't know what family the devil is taking advantage of but i want to pray now i'm not prophesying i'm speaking for, for god to locate a family that must not go back this night in this situation lord i decree and declare wherever that family is right now in the name of jesus may the fire of god locate that family now May the fire of God locate that family now. The Lord is releasing an anointing. Hold on. Over people. is for supernatural clarity and direction. That's what I hear. Receive it now. People are receiving it. People are receiving it. I prophesy. Clarity. Clarity. God is answering questions now. By the anointing. If that fire comes from you. You are receiving direction right now. Clarity. Clarity. All the overflows. Clarity. I release that anointing right now. God is giving clarity. Listen, I'm still praying it. I'm seeing anointings that will translate as answers. Should I stay here or should I relocate somewhere else? Should I start the project or should I stop? Every confusion and anointing is answering it now. An anointing is answering it now. An anointing is answering it now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm praying for everybody, but I'm seeing particularly overflow one. An anointing for divine recovery divine recovery let me tell you something whatever leaves you can come back to your life are you hearing now there are people who have lost things I'm about to call it into your life now and as that anointing comes on you just know that is your time of recovery Lord where are they where are those who have lost things that need recovery shakata kata kata shakata kata kata broskete kata everywhere 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 inside outside outside the grace for recovery the grace for recovery i release that grace now over individuals and over families over individuals and over families individuals who have lost things lost things lost opportunities lost opportunities somebody is recovering an opportunity Somebody is recovering something that left you. Hallelujah. The angel of the Lord is leading me here. There are at least four people. This grace for recovery must come upon you. I'm seeing at least four people. Something you have lost is about to look for you. Something you have lost must look for you. I force it to look for you by the power of the Holy Ghost hallelujah listen let me tell you I told you God answers you by bringing the anointing in your direction that collision with the anointing is what will program your testimony and all of a sudden you will see strange testimonies happening to you hallelujah I'm seeing a strong man in four families that God is clearing out of the way. Listen, listen. I don't say things like this lightly, but I'm seeing, at least I'm seeing two women and two men who have sat for long on the destinies of people. They don't even know they are the ones. Where are they? Inside and outside, whoever, in the name of Jesus, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Any man sitting on anybody's destiny here. You want to rise but they stop you. You want to move but they sit on your glory. I clear them out of the way now. Listen. You should attend a miracle service like this. And know that you attended a miracle service. Like this mama, you see that?
the devil wants to kill this woman with cancer eat her into pieces with cancer and destroy her your mother you are the ones who brought her hold the mother and two of you come you two of you need deliverance first leave mama come come and stand someone should hold or get a seat for mama to sit i've prayed for her but i'm looking i'm this is this your mother two of you i want to pray for you eh what you need i know you brought your mother to be healed of cancer but for you god must heal you first you will need deliverance eh? i'm not saying you are witches but i have to pray for you this is the instruction god is giving me father in the name of jesus you will not allow these ladies to go down the way of trouble and sorrow and pain and discouragement therefore i lay my hands on you in the name of jesus fire over every wicked devil in the name of jesus you came to stand in for your mother but satan has his own plan for you in the name of jesus Hi. wickedness is real i held these ladies and the lord showed me a vision i'm seeing a man a real herbalist sitting down on the ground and i'm seeing something that looks like a pot they are writing names of people with blood blood not chalk they will write it and throw it inside the pot write it and throw it this is an Igbo family write it throw it inside the pot lord i don't know why you showed me this vision but in the name of jesus i don't care where the family is but in the name of first my first prayer point is that that herbalist must die first in the name of jesus christ if you don't like the prayer point say amen to the one you believe but my first prayer point is that the wicked herbalist this is someone's destiny these people are here oh I'm praying you may not even know you are the one I say it again whoever is that man on the ground writing whose name whether it's your marital destiny whether it's your breakthrough in the name of Jesus let the earth open and swallow that wicked man who say now who say now? Who say now? Who is that, please? Let her come, please, quickly. You are who say now? What's your name? Huh? Who say now? I want to pray for you. Eh? I'll pray for two of you, but you are the one I want to pray for. What's your name? From where? What state are you from? You are from FCT. Do you believe in favor? Shout it. No, you are not shouting. You have shout favor. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a lot of bad luck for you and your family and this is what God is bringing for you. Favor. Who say now I want to pray for you? You are who say now to madam? Please come. You too? Is it mother and daughter or you are coming by yourself? You are, you are who say now to? I'll pray for you. But this is the lady I want to speak to. You love Jesus with all your heart. I want to pray for you. God is bringing a major breakthrough for you and your family. Major breakthrough. I lay my hands right now and I command, let it happen right now. In the name of Jesus. Where are you from, my dear? Jalingo. Taraba. In the name of Jesus. The Lord gives you a miracle. Now. In the name of Jesus. Let me pray for you. Every bad luck must live your life now. Eh? Every bad luck must live your life. I lay my hands and I command that spirit to go. This lady, only bad things look for her. There are people like that. When good things come, they just turn. There is a spirit that turns it away. Everybody is getting a job. Something that is simple. When is your turn? Let me tell you something. Hardship is not poverty. Hardship is a spirit. You get things, but something you can get for two weeks will take you four years. It's hardship. It's a cost. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? You can't go, give God glory under that kind of condition. Simple things. 
You ask somebody out, I want to marry you. They answer you after four years. It's a cause. Are you, are you a demon? It's a cause. You start a building project, you finish after 10 years. It's not a blessing. A hard life is worse than poverty. This is what the devil has put on the life of this lady. I, I take it away now. In the name of Jesus. And I use her as a point of contact. If there is anything on anyone's head that is responsible for bad luck happening, in the name of Jesus, I command whatever it is, let the fire of God come upon it now. Let me pray for you, man. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands upon you and I release favor. In the name of Jesus, favor. I'm seeing someone, you are into printing. Please, let's hurry up. We have to stop a few minutes now so that you are into printing. You print like um, posters, whatever it is you design, you print banners. Please, who is that person? I want to pray for you. You are into printing. Uh, I will pray for you, but the person I'm seeing, I'm not saying if you want to do it, if you are currently doing it, you are into it. For how long? Since my, my childhood, sir. I was born into printing. Your father is a printer? Yes, sir. Where do you do it? Mina. Mina. Yes, sir. From Mina, you came here. I'm serving in Kagzara. Because yes. the person I'm seeing is about to lose a lot of money. This is a contract or project that someone will give you. You will suffer and do it and something will happen and destroy that whole job. And the person will say you must pay. And it's going to cost you hundreds. I don't know. Well, may not be so much money to you, but I'm seeing something. Losses of at least this is a very big project that the person is even angry. I'm seeing something that even has to do with police. Because the person will say that you went and gave the job. All of you are into printing. What are you printing? I'm into printing. What printing? Books, everything in every press. Books. You yes. too? Your dad. All of you. I'll pray for you. You are standing in for somebody. We have to avert this. This time of recession is not the best time to get into trouble with police. Say amen. amen. You want to stop it now. So that whether it's your fault or not, when you are in trouble, you are in trouble. And you see, the way the devourer works is that he will wait just when I'm, I'm soon going to do that prayer. Where things work, just when the miracle is about to happen, something happens and destroys your life. I have to pray for you. Where is your dad? Huh? He stays in Abuja. He stays in Abuja. That's where you stay too? Yes. What's your name? Peace. Peace. I want to pray so that we'll stop trouble, eh? In the name of Jesus. Daddy, we use your daughter as a point of contact to pray. Every trouble we avert now. You two, you are into the printing. Where? Abu Press. Abu Press. Yes. You work with Abu Press. Yes. Hey, you work there now. It's not your own. Okay, but I will still pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Grace. The one for Mina. I release you. Eh? Can I pray for businesses? Can I speak over businesses? Huh? You are into printing? Uh, what's your name? Hassan. Hassan. You, you, you need to... Um, well, I don't mean to embarrass you, but you are very shabby. Huh? You need to organize your life. You're a smart young man, but you see how you are looking like uh, a thief. You'll be smart when you are coming to the house of God. Listen, when you, people are, when you are coming to the house of God, don't embarrass him. This is a family but you look smart you don't dress you see no shoes your hair is scattered not combed you look smart eh? you are my friend i want you it will be difficult for you to progress in life like this it will be difficult for you to get a good wife like this it will be difficult for you to get many good things appearance is the seed for acceptance don't say it doesn't matter dress well the house
Jesus. May the Lord help you right now. Lord, organize his life in the name of Jesus Christ. Organize his destiny. There is a spirit of excellence. Excellence is a spirit. You receive it in Jesus' name. I'll quickly pray for you. Doesn't matter where you're standing. You, you are into printing too. You too. In the name of Jesus, all those into printing, I lay my hands, Pastor Lawrence, grace for you. You will do well. You will get jobs in Jesus' name. There are some of us, what we need now, we are at a point in our lives where humanly speaking, we have paid our price. What you need is favor. And we are going to pray. Is that true? Are there people like that here? There are others you have not paid your price. Paying for favor is putting you into trouble. What I need to pray for you for is grace not to be lazy. Laziness is also a spirit. Many of us don't know. It takes a lot of laziness. Um, something is leaving you. That devil must go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are into printing too? In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There is somebody you sew clothes. You are a serious tailor. But for a long time, this is from April, everything just went down. I don't mean gradually down like this. It's almost as if, please, who is that person? You are a tailor. You sew clothes. You are a serious tailor, but something just happened. I'm seeing the month of April, and everything just went down. You are the one? You sew clothes? Where? Django. Who knows you? If you are a serious tailor, they should know you here. Who are, who, you've sewn people's clothes here? Zango. Okay, Zango. Yes. There's a shop. I'm what ha then what happened? There's a shop. I'm working for somebody. So last month he sent me out and closed the shop for no reason. Last month? Yeah. Um, okay, I'll pray for you. If you did something wrong and they pursued you, when you come here, you ask for mercy. You don't complain. Even if it's my shop and you don't do well, I will drive you. Everybody wants to succeed. So let's let's be very honest when we are before God. Praise God. When you are before God, if you tell the truth, that's even what will provoke his mercy. You understand? If you if if I employ you, don't be embarrassed, my dear. But if I employ you and you are not bringing me anything and I'm paying you, why won't I downsize and drive you? So don't make it look as if because this person you are saying drove you. I'm not seeing the person as a wicked person. No. Something happened and it's your fault. Eh? You need the mercy of God and God will help you. Don't make it. You see that if, if it's not revelation now, you will now blame someone else and say that person is wicked. My prayer for you is that God will bless you too. Huh? But please don't be angry. I'm not seeing that person. That person did exactly what I would have done. Father, in the name of Jesus, show your daughter mercy. If you need mastery, may God improve your skill. May God improve your value. And I pray for you in Jesus' name. God will not leave you hungry. The God we serve will change your story tonight. In the name of Jesus. You experience his mercy. You experience his grace. Madam, you are a tailor. Where? Samaru Market. Samaru. Market. You have your shop? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Yes, sir. You are a good woman, but you are always entering trouble with those you sew their clothes. You don't used to finish on time. Madam, I'm going to pray for you. The Lord is showing me. Don't be embarrassed. This is a family. It may just need... You are a very good tailor. I'm not, I'm not against you. Don't feel bad. I'll offend some people. That's what I'm seeing now. Yes, and there's problem now. They are even angry. Yes, sir. Because they are supposed to sew something for them for an occasion. Uh, and you didn't finish and now the person is really angry so these are some of the things we are talking about as God steps in let's allow his mercy just tell them sorry because you, I want, you would have been far more than you are now but there is a spirit of delay sitting on your glory hold my hands he must go now to draw from you again again yeah. We've come to draw, 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 draw from you again. Listen, I want you to mark this woman. The kind of favor this woman will enter into from this night will surprise you. 
I'm saying it in the open. The Lord will give you favor. You are a tailor. Why are you just coming, my brother? We are praying for people here. Father, in the name of Jesus, help our brother to succeed. It's unbelief. If God is calling a case to help people, huh? you come out proudly. You don't stand there. You are ashamed. You understand? It's an act. It's You are a student and you are doing it. You people too, you are tailors. See, the tailors are now coming out. We'll pray for your business. Please, all tailors, do a good job. We believe in excellence. Don't say, I'm praying for you publicly. It's not just endorsing you to destroy people's clothes. Do a good job. Praise the Lord. Do a good job and we'll pray for you. There are too many people here. Too many. School of Ministry wants to do their graduation gown. In two weeks, we are graduating our students, 243 students. Imagine that you get the contract to do their gown. If you do a good work, God will honor you. If you do a nonsense work, people will not endorse you just because it's the house of God. Praise the Lord. My brother, you want to study? Where? I'm a student. Oh, you are a student? Yes. Be okay. Okay. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord grant you grace. God will raise help for you. In the name of Jesus, God will raise help for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. You are a tailor. In the name of Jesus, God will raise help for you. You need deliverance. I command the spirit. Hi. This lady has oppression in your dream. I set you free right now in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the Son of the Living God. You didn't come out for tailor, you came out by the mercies of God. You see what I'm saying? This is the tailor now. You see what let me pray for her please i see a wild animal i'm looking at this lady and i'm seeing okay. lord jesus mercy i command every legal access satan has over you when this lady gets angry she can swallow you it's not her fault it's a spirit be free now look how many people are holding one lady in the name of jesus i set you free by the power of the holy spirit let me advise you if you want to enter a relationship pray if you want to marry pray you listen to what i'm telling you you see the body of christ we don't listen and we do i'm not saying this lady is a witch please don't get me wrong but i'm saying you should pray now i'm not condemning her but imagine that you are in a relationship with this lady and you married last week you see this if this lady is angry, that spirit will manifest. No matter how strong you are, she will beat the living daylight out of you. When that spirit leaves her, she will tell you sorry. And then it will come back. This is what God is helping us to solve. Are we together? Now imagine you are a customer and just because you gave her 10,000, you insulted her. When that spirit rises, she will tear your clothes or beat you. Lord Jesus, we invoke your mercy upon her. In Jesus' name. Madam, you're a tailor too? Where? Judge. Judgey. I'll pray for you. You're a tailor too? Where? You're in Nazareth State. In the name of Jesus, may God increase you. I speak to your business. Let it increase. Experience increase. Delay lives your life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you're in business, please lift your hands. I want to speak over your life. Please believe the prayer I'm praying for you. There is an anointing that makes people prosper. Why are you here? You are tailors. You are all tailors. What do you mean you are tailors? This gentleman, you are a tailor too? Okay, please come. You would have come out since, so that our time, you know, our time. You are all tailors. You are a tailor too? I hope we all know that this is the house of God. Please, don't, don't tell lies. If you are not a tailor here, I'm, the prayer will reach everybody. If you are not into tailoring, please don't embarrass yourself. If you are into tailoring, leave them, leave them, please. Provided you are, I don't know what is this with God and tailors, but let's pray because God wants to increase you. You look like a tailor. 
You see, some of you don't look like tailors. You are, you, are not, you are not dressing like tailors. This gentleman is sharp and smart. He looks like a tailor. Ejimi teaches that you represent your brand. If you are a man of God, you show it by the anointing. If you are a tailor, if you are a public speaker, you show it by accuracy of communication. If you are a tailor, you are marketing your products at all times. You don't say, come to my shop. No. If I cannot see your tailoring prowess on you, then I shouldn't patronize you. Father, change the lives of these great people of ours. I'm just going to lay my hands and touch your head. And in the name of Jesus, I pray. May your business step into a new dimension. In the name of Jesus. As I lay my hands, please go back to your seat. In Jesus' name. That yoke leaves you now. In the name of Jesus. Grace for you. Grace for you. Grace for you. Go and increase. Go and multiply, my dear. Go and increase. Go and multiply. Increase, madam. Multiply. Go and increase. Go and multiply. Go and multiply. Go and increase. Go and multiply. Go and increase. Go and multiply. Go and increase. Whether you're a tailor or not, after this people don't come out again. Go and multiply. Go and multiply. In the name of Jesus. Go and multiply. Go and multiply. In Jesus' name. If you're in business, please. Any kind of good, godly business, lift your hands. If you're in a bad business, repent. And do something honorable. Listen, let me mention an example of bad business. Any business that has to do with smuggling drugs. You are a thief. You are not in business. You stop it. I don't care whether you are helping young guys around Samaru connect with a snuff. That's not a business. Are we together? There are businesses that are demonic. Writing exams for people. Writing jam for people. Writing, I will never pray for you for increase. That's not a godly business. Business that has to do with you having an affair with somebody's husband, somebody's wife. It's not a good business. Prostitution, not a good business. Dirty business that has to do with ungodly things. No, no, sir. Let's be very sincere before God. But I pray sincerely from the depth of my heart. The power to prosper. The grace that can come on a business and turn it around overnight. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Listen, please, I want you to be childlike enough and believe this prayer I'm praying for you. And watch what God does. Some of you, you don't have any clients, you don't have any customers some of you overnight just by this prayer by miracle service october it will be like a dream i prophesy to you some of you you have the ideas what you need is capital i declare let somebody rise up who is willing to help you in the name of jesus christ some of you what you need is an endorsement of someone credible in your field so that it will open doors for you may someone who has gone ahead of you accredit you in the name of jesus christ some of you are trying to sell properties there's nobody to buy but if someone comes to buy it god will use it to honor you i call somebody to buy it now in the name of jesus now I prophesy favor on everyone. I decree and declare tonight the main auditorium overflow. One, two, three, those following online. The kind of favor you have never seen in your life. May my God make it happen in your life now. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Esther the village girl became Esther the queen through favor Ruth the hungry woman who was about to die became Ruth the wife of Boaz I don't know who I'm prophesying to but the favor that would change your story in one month I release it to you right now 
I release it to you right now in the name of Jesus Christ help that woman there please there are people from January till now you have never testified it's not that you don't want to come out but nothing has happened I stand before the God of heaven and I decree and declare may my God do something in your life that will force you to come and testify in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare I don't know what door has closed between you and your next level you have been knocking for a long time and that door has refused to open I open that door for you right now I open that door for you right now any terminal disease ravaging anyone's body you get healed right now two weeks you are back again you get healed three weeks you are back again I set you free right now help that I set you free right now in the name of Jesus Christ the only thing you know that happens in your family is fight and quarrel no love no joy when someone is about to rise a troublemaker comes I declare may the Prince of Peace may the Prince of Peace step into our homes now step into our families now You are beautiful, you love God, you are a well-mannered lady, no husband. Shakotos kaparakata. Skalabata kato sata priyata. Sheketo koto I'm led to pray this prayer. You don't hear me pray it all the time, but I decree and declare. Every lady here, ready for a relationship, a godly one, I call your husband to your life now. Katos koto preske la pariyatatia. Every gentleman who wants to marry but no job, no money. The devil is using, <laughs> the devil is using lack of finances to rubbish your life in the name of Jesus. The God that can lift a man from a dunghill. May that God lift our brothers here right now. Any project you started this year that you were hoping to have completed by now and as it is you need a miracle I release the finishers anointing upon you in the name of Jesus Christ all those writing exams shakatos kata prati alakatos in the name of Jesus the grace to not only write your exams but to finish well I release it upon you right now in the name of Jesus Christ all our, our brothers and sisters who travel from several places to write post you and me in the name of Jesus we give you admission here I don't care who you know or who you don't know we give you admission here now hallelujah school of ministry students are writing their exams by nine o'clock tomorrow in the name of jesus grace for retention receive it there are other people writing promotion exams others there are, we have a lot of postgraduate students doing their phd work research you know their thesis whatever it is anything that has refused to come to completion in your life I, re I release upon you grace for completion in the name of Jesus the last prayer point and we are done give me two minutes I need to pray for our spiritual lives some of you started well with God but right now you need prayers you need serious prayers prayer zero fasting zero word life zero passion for the things of God zero you are not bad but in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying. The fire. The Bible says the spirit of a man is the candle of the Lord. The fire that must come upon the candle of your destiny. 
Sokoto Pakata. From the main hall here, overflow one, overflow two, overflow three. Take a fresh fire for your work with God. Take a fresh fire for your work with God. Hear me? Some of you, the moment you open your Bible, it's as if something happens and you close it back. It's not normal. I decree and declare passion for the word of God. Receive it right now. Some of you used to pray seriously. You even used to attend the, the weekly prayer department meeting. But things happen. You were offended with God and several things happen in your life and you say I'm, I've been praying but I've not seen results and you stop. I release upon you grace to go back. Grace to go back to the prayer altar. Grace to go back to the prayer altar. Grace to go back to the prayer altar. Hear me? Those of you who as you are seeking money, you are forgetting God. As you are seeking marriage, you are forgetting God. It's not that you want to do so. Life is pushing you away from God. Whatever is drawing you away from God, I cause that thing now. Listen, we are rounding up. God and prosperity can go hand in hand. God and marriage can go hand in hand. Whatever must make you leave God to get it is of the devil. May it live your life forever. Now keep your hands lifted. The last prayer point. God is looking for men and women of the spirit. Simple one minute prayers that will change your life now. Lift your hands. I want to pray for something to come upon these hands. Listen. Mm. There must be an evidence if you belong to this ministry. This is a supernatural ministry. This is a ministry of signs, wonders, diverse manifestations. I will not end this meeting without this impartation. I'm praying now at the count of three. Let an unction, let an ancient mantle land on someone's hand. One, two, three. Take it now. Healing anointing. Take it now. Prophetic mantle. Take it now. Grace for signs and wonders. Receive it. May your hands become healing hands. May your hands become miracle hands. Deliverance hands. Favor hands. Hear me. The grace to win souls like never before. I know it's old school. I'm both old and new school. Depending on the one that does not work. Soul winning is never old school. The Bible says he that winneth souls is wise. I pray for you. Grace for a dimension. Evangelism through signs and wonders. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. The last prayer for you. The mantle of honor. The grace that distinguishes a man above his contemporaries. I lay my hands on my head and I prophesy to you. Carry that anointing right now. Carry that anointing right now. Experience strange levels of honor. In the name of Jesus. Father, we give you all the praise. Every expectation you brought here, whether I mentioned it or not, I'm agreeing with you now. Within 24 hours, let your miracle start. Within 24 hours, let your miracle start. Those of you who came from far, before you get to where you came from, you will collide with miracle after miracle. Testimony after testimony. Hallelujah.
if there is anyone here in ministry a man of god a woman of god you have a fellowship you have a church i pray for you the fire that is here carry it back to your church carry it back to your fellowship carry it back to your place of ministry in the name of jesus christ hallelujah wave your hands and give jesus praise thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus hallelujah everyone keep standing you are here our time is gone everyone please stand you are here you are worshiping with us for the first time overflow one overflow two and inside this is your first time please make your way here overflow three just make your way to the front of your projector stand and look at me let's honor them koinonia quickly hallelujah praise the lord please keep standing two minutes we are done let's honor them they are coming may god bless all of you who continually invite people to come listen let me tell you one truth i am very honored to have the privilege to lead this campaign of bringing the reality of the power and the presence of god to people when you invite people you don't necessarily make a ministry bigger yes you increase them in numerical strength but the truth about it is that you are giving people an opportunity to have encounters hallelujah for all of you who take out time to invite people may the god i serve bless you clear the way for them as they come hallelujah dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua Salmon. and that is i want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of jesus christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of christianity and then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye